Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk to you about a major downside that Palantir has. And I believe that this is a major plus point for us as investors at this point, because Palantir is not perfect by any means, right? And the thing is that when you invest into something, you want it to be kind of like a rough diamond because that's where the opportunity is, right? So, you know, if Palantir was an obvious opportunity for everyone and everyone understood it for what it is, the stock price would be like $100 and it wouldn't be investable, right? So this big mistake is that the software, the product that Palantir has is insanely complicated. Every time I watch YouTube videos about how it works and what it does, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't understand anything. They probably realize this because you know, when you invested in Tesla or you know, when you invest into Teladoc or Zoom or, but Tesla is a very good example because I myself drove a Tesla in uh, 2014. I drove it down to Germany, to France and uh, you know, back to Sweden. And I understood that this is the future and I understood how awesome it was, you know, and it was very easy to, you know, experience the product and then make your conclusions from that point. Unfortunately in Palantir, we don't have the this luxury and we need to sort of read uh, in the tea leaves and I mean I do want to show you that from a, an investor viewpoint there is signs that point that, that the product is a fantastic product and it's light years ahead of everyone so one of them that I want to show you is in their investor Q4 investor presentation. I mean, first of all, you look at their growth in the commercial sector, and then this is the dollar net retention, right? So that means I have dabbled into a subscription business, right? And in a subscription business, it's very hard to keep customers. So if you have 100 customers that are paying you a thousand dollars every month and it goes a year you know in a normal subscription business you will have maybe 90 of those customers you know instead of hundred thousand a year now you're down to ninety thousand a year and even you should be happy with that right uh, now in palantir's case what happens which happens with very few software companies right is that they increase with customers so if they had a hundred customers that spent a hundred thousand in a year with them not only do they have these customers at the end of the year it's also that those customers the next year are spending in this case overall in their business hundred and thirteen thousand but in between us customers hundred and fifty thousand so that is nuts right on the international market it's still like just to understand it's mind-blowing if it's over 100 like I, as i said i dabbled in a subscription business and it's insanely hard to get a positive customer retention and obviously the international they do have some work there but look at the us one my god that so that means that they could like fire all the salespeople, right and not make any new sales whatsoever and then they will have 50 percent income increase every year on the existing customers so obviously the only way that that this can be done is that their product is unbelievable keep in mind also that the, i believe the average license fee or cost per customer was like 6.5 million dollars last year so the only way that this retention is possible is that their product creates so much value and is you know so useful for the company that they just want more of it even if it costs millions more right so that's insane so basically palantir also realized that they have this problem and they signed a youtuber i'm on this website by the way palantir daily if you don't know it it's done by a youtube creator a fellow youtube creator by the way if you're watching this video i would love to have you on an interview i would be so honored if you could contact me if, if you watch this video you probably aren't but you know i thought i'd give it a try so i just want to plug this palantir daily palantir.com fantastic daily news on palantir if you're an investor thinking about investing fantastic resource basically they do an interview with this guy and he uh, gets access to a foundry platform and he's going to make a youtube series on it called foundry in action so again the thing is even when he explains he says that he explains it to you know like so simple people can understand i still don't understand anything i must be the dumbest person on the planet or they need to like underestimate where the audience is and you know really like take like as if they were explaining it to their grandma mother but even in the interview there is a few points that really you know show that this is a program that is light years at so for example here he makes a statement that uh, he can create something in 15 minutes in a foundry that used to take him two months using other providers that is an insanely fantastic sign right the first video is out you can watch it i'm gonna link his channel in the description below and i watched it it shows the main menu of palantir and i understand nothing so maybe i'm just super dumb I really hope that he's going to be able to 
make videos that really, really explain Palantir. I mean, I do know that his target audience on this is the developers and it's a very good opportunity to, you know, like get other tech nerds uh, into Palantir. I understand this. I'm just hoping that some of the videos will be on a level that completely normal people can understand. And then, you know, I can refer potential investors to Palantir because it's very hard. Yeah, right now, if you're investing into Palantir, you have to have an enormous amount of trust in, for example, Codestrap and other programmers that you find on YouTube that tell you that this program is amazing and you have to read into the reports that the program is amazing and it must be because otherwise you wouldn't be having that customer retention number and you wouldn't have the growth that you had. So the program must be amazing but still how do you invest into it if you can't touch it and you don't understand what it does? Only the really ballsy like you and me do it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.